40 laser experience. <laughs> so in Inkscape, I've just done a pretty simple design uh, with three different colors. Now, K40 Whisperer will, will look at that and what it does, it acknowledges that a red line is a cut line, uh, a blue line is a trace line or uh, an engraved line, and black or grey will be interpreted as a raster engrave. So we've got three different operations uh, on this very, very small design. And I've got a small eighth inch ply piece of material in there. I'm going to try different uh, settings of the, or different power settings um, to determine the, well, the right setting for this material. Because every piece of material has its own particular sort of settings. Okay, so here we are in K40 Whisperer and we're going to open a design as on the desktop and it's this one here, double click, it'll take a, a few seconds to come in and there's our design. So now I'm going to fire the laser up and Initialize the laser with K40. So the first operation is going to be a raster. So we're going to set this, um, let me see. We're going to set this now at uh, 10 milliamps, or maybe a little bit less. Okay, so we're about 8 milliamps there. And I'm just going to position the head of the laser uh, to the start of our piece of work. test go over that way about 10 millimeters test okay so I'm going to say that's good and now we're going to start the raster that that is way too much power there for uh, a raster engraved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it and get another bit of material because that's uh, this is the first time I've actually done a raster engraved with this laser and that's digging in about, uh, let me see, uh, probably, probably a millimeter so it's way too much power or maybe we're going a little slow. So I'm going to stop it Okay, so we're going to do the rest of part of this now, and I've set it uh, about 8 milliamps, uh, actually it's more it's like 7 milliamps, let me just do a test and check that, yeah that's 7 milliamps, and this time I'm going to run it at 200 millimeters a second. And I've actually made the design a little smaller too. So uh, here we go, we'll give it a try.
telling you, I am quite impressed with that. So let's see how the uh, the vector engraving goes. Uh, I'm going to leave that at the same power setting of uh, seven milliamps, and I'm going to run it at twenty millimeters per second, which is just over three quarters of an inch. at all. Okay, so now we're going to go for the vector cut. So I'm going to turn the, uh, I'm going to turn the power level up quite a bit here. Just do a test. at uh, 12 millimeters per second which is about half an inch so here we go with the cutout I dare say my 100 watt laser couldn't have done any better. That is pretty perfect, all bar a bit of a hot cut out. My fault. Not the fault of the K40. It did that without thinking about it. Beautiful. So when you get the mirrors all lined up, and you have decent evacuation of smoke you do notice that you know there's no real smoke damage then left on the surface here um, that's a combination of the air evacuation system the ventilation uh, being improved and the air assist and of course there's no flame and it did now it is acting or should we say operating like a co2 laser should and i'm very very happy with it and very quite surprised actually this very early stage um the type of work that it i can see that it's going to be able to turn out so I'm I'm very happy with it. Surprised and unhappy. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. It's been quite a short one really. Um you know I've what can I say? It's now at a stage where uh, I, I'm pretty happy with it actually and I haven't put uh, you know a lot of additional money into it you know the machine the base machine cost you know it was uh, 460 dollars Australian so it's probably 360 US or about um, 350 pounds I think uh, probably the same amount in euro <laughs> and I've probably thrown an additional uh, all up it would be with a new lens and mirrors I've got a new set of mirrors with it that I haven't used yet with a new lens probably $80 so it, you know all these upgrades are well worth it um, to make it a better machine and of course 
in the, I, I do encourage you to watch the videos I made prior to this about the safety issues and how to put them right. Um, that they are very important uh, to, to to carry out before ever you do any modifications. Um, okay, so I, I'm I'm very pleasantly surprised, and uh, I, I'm very happy. With, no, I'm very happy with it. <laughs> so. If you've enjoyed the video today, please like and subscribe and please consider becoming a patron to the channel. Patron information is below this video in the video description area. And I hope you come and join me again for the next thrilling episode of the K40 uh, laser in conjunction with K40 Whisperer and Inkscape. Uh, which are the programs I recommend to run this, don't even bother with the programs they supply with this. Okay? Inkscape and K40 Whisperer are free. Okay? And uh, they're the best ones for this machine. So, thank you for joining me. And I think... I think we're going... I think... I think we're going to... Engrave a photograph onto some some nice sort of I think this is pine or poplar or something like that. Very nice whitish wood. I'll try and find a, a piece of wood that is hasn't got many knots in it. And I think it I think it'll be able to do a really good I think it'll be able to do a really good representation in a photograph. So please come and join me. And uh, it's bye for now.